Hello! This video is a quick introduction to basically the main file and folder locations within Windows. Okay, obviously in the C drive, okay, you get there by opening up the File Explorer, C drive, okay, and then Windows. Okay, let's start off with the boot drive, okay, a boot folder. This folder basically contains the files required for starting Windows, okay. You then have your help folder, okay, all the help files for the Windows operating system are in there, okay. Then you have your INF folder, okay. All this has is basically all the INF files for installing hardware and software drivers are saved in there. You have system32, which is extremely important, okay. That's basically containing the main, main files of Windows itself. Most of them are located over here. Okay. All right. We then have our driver files. They're mainly stored within the system 32 itself, and then they come under driver Drivers and driver stores. These two folders contain the main drivers. Okay, you have your Windows Win SXS. Okay, folder. Basically, what this is used for. Okay, in the past, um, you used to have, shall we say, um, conflicts, uh, conflicts in software that's been installed and the base, the versions of the DLLs, etc., etc. Win SXX basically kind of like is a new system where it stores, shall we say, multiple copies of different um, DLL files, etc., DLL OCX, etc., files, so that they don't kind of like um, react with each other. So it's a nice little way over there. Okay, now we can have a look at basically our user folders. Okay, basically. These things are where you'll find your downloads, your desktop, okay, your favorites, etc. This is where it is. Based on, it'll be under your name. In our case, it's Windows 10 Ninja. What you have will be something totally different. Okay. Now, there are some hidden files that are extremely important, hidden folders. Okay. We can click on hidden items to view them. Okay. App data. Okay. The app data basically has a lot of files and folders that are extremely important that are installed by the software that you're using and also Windows itself. Okay, you would have them stored in here. Okay, also the individual settings for the programs are there as well. Okay, for example, if you install Photoshop, you'd find most of the stuff within there. Okay, relating to that particular user and the app data that is specific. Okay. You also have the Windows and the System32, the config files, which has basically the main registry files that you're there. Okay, Windows, you can go System32. This has been covered in a previous video. However, we'll just go over it quickly. Okay, the config. Okay, this is the user-specific registry backup. Okay, for... the computer itself. Okay, over there they are. Okay, you would want to probably back up that. Okay, you also have when you're installing programs, okay, they basically come right over here. It's in program files and program files 86, those are 32 bit program files, that's the 64. Program data, also another location that's extremely useful when you install your own software over here, you'll find it also writes a lot of their own stuff over there. Okay. Windows apps, okay, that's actually quite nice, okay, basically your app store, all your apps that you would be having, okay, for example, where does it store over there, okay, you go over there and all the apps that you're downloading from the Windows app store, they go to a special location, it's in program files, and then it's in Windows apps, that's where they are saved. Okay. Okay. Basically, it wants us to change the owner of it. 
okay so which we can do temporarily in this case okay properties security advanced okay change the owner okay all right and replace it for all sub containers as well click okay that's fine and once that's complete you'll be able to go in there so basically that's an extremely useful location as well windows apps there we go so basically all those little programs that you've downloaded or that come automatically are all over here. All the individual files and data for each program are stored within that. Okay. For our security and policy folders, we'll have a look over here. They're basically stored in Windows. Okay. And in security. Okay, you have security over there. And you also have service profiles. Okay, these two are basically related to, shall we say, all our securities and permissions for the computer. You'll have a lot in there. Okay, your Windows 8 registry for each user is stored in the users folder. Okay, for example, us over here. All right, we're over here in Windows 10 Ninja. To view that, you'd need to go and ensure system hidden system files are viewable. Okay, so you unclick that, click yes. Okay, and all these ntuser dot that. Okay, they're basically for each user, and in each user's folder, you'll find these. Okay, they're the registry specific to each user. Okay, make sure you. Get rid of the hidden folders and files, okay, so that they can be viewed by others. We have now our log files. That's basically in Windows. Okay, so we can go there. There are a few locations within the Windows directory. Okay, you have Windows, and then you have Debug. Okay, you have Diagnostics. Okay, we have over there. You also have Windows Live Kernel Reports. Okay, that should be over here. There we go. And you have, obviously, logs. Okay. And you have modem logs. That's another one. Okay. Where is that? There we go. Okay. These are the main log files folders. Okay. CBS log is one that you might have a look at if you're finding corruptions with the system files okay that's the log file for that you can open them up in notepad or wordpad etc okay temporary files they're stored in locations c windows okay and they're stored in downloaded program files there we go they're the temporary files over there okay that's empty right now, but if anything was down, it would be there. Okay, you also have the prefetch folder. Okay, if you're having issues, which shall we say, um, what's being prefetched on your computer, maybe that's giving you problems, you would want to look at Windows and prefetch. Okay, let's find that prefetch over there. Okay, if you think something's gone wrong or it's been a little bit corrupt, just delete it. Okay. Delete this. Don't worry about it. Windows will automatically rebuild it. Okay. You also have the Windows software distribution. Okay. If you're having issues with updates, for example, let's find that folder system software distribution. Okay. There we go. If you're having issues with updates that are not installing properly or we're having issues over there, basically delete the contents of this folder and it'll basically then start afresh when you look for updates again okay when you do an update check okay you obviously have a few other folders okay one other one is the temp folder okay 
Okay, these are temp files that you might want to delete to clear up your computer. Okay, all right. These are the main things. There are obviously quite a few other folders that are of extreme value to Windows, and that we should probably try and cover at a future date. Hopefully, this has helped. Thank you for watching.